What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with solo leveling. Today we're doing episode nine. Very excited, very nervous because we're going into. I'm I'm loving the fact that we're going into a dungeon with the OG crew, but I don't like the whole prisoner aspect of it. Hoping everything goes okay. Knowing this show, it is most certainly not going to go down that way. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of this reaction, check it out on the Patreon. Links are down below. We're also live watching this on Twitch. You know, it's such a vibe, a vibing with chat watching this. So come on over twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And if you don't mind, follow the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Y'all are the best. I'm not going to waste any more time. So leveling episode nine. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Starting off right in the dungeon. Yeah, the prisoners of these goblins. Yeah, one armed. I love how now he w went from a swordsman to like a magic user. Shout out Mr. Song. From when they last seen him to now, Jin Wu is insanely different. Shout out Mr. Song. Shout out Juhi. It's crazy how much I hear Marrow when I hear him talk, you know? It's crazy. Path splits. Can Jin Woo just tell? Oh, I love his perception. Oh, he's gonna volunteer for the left group. All right, this should be interesting. Song, Juhi, and Jin Woo. Wow. I respect that about you. Guilt's been eating at you. I would respect that if you apologize. It takes a real man to, to do that, so. And he even goes into it knowing he's not going to be forgiven, you know. Got a modicum of respect for me. Oh, yes, they could. They're criminals. Whoever's playing this piano is a beautiful song. He was the one who paid him. Okay. Okay. That's making much more sense now. They assaulted his daughter. She hung herself. His wife was hospitalized from the shock. Yeah. See, I'm not a father, but I could totally understand being in his position. I might do the same, you know? You're gambling a lot, trying to bribe an official hunter, you know, especially as high up as he is, but... What is purple-haired Megumi gonna do? Is he actually gonna do it? Oh, I kind of want to see it. I won't lie. Oh, but they walk in on him ending. Oh, this is not gonna be good now. No, no, no. Kang. Gotta remember his name is Kang. No hesitation. They're going right back to the people screaming. I respect it. They come across a plethora of bodies. Oh my god. Yeah, we just saw his adorable daughter and his wife making sure he's going to be okay and stuff like that. That's sad, man. And he was going to apologize? Yeah, 
How is this confrontation going to work out, man? He does mean it too, but... Oh. I feel for his family, man. His daughter and his wife. He didn't deserve that. And then Kang's going right in. Oh my god, for Juhi. Jin Woo is a legend. I was expecting the prisoners to be the issue this episode, not the inspector, the instructor, whatever. Uh, yeah, except you didn't account for one thing. Jin Woo. Oh, I love Mr. Song. I don't know if you can do this, though. You can land a hit, especially with a strength buff. I'm oh, that rogue illusion magic. Great healing, Juhi. Animation's going insane right now. Jin Wu's not gonna let that happen. And Song! <laughs> no average old farts over here. What is Jin Wu gonna do? He doesn't want to expose himself. I don't think he wants to let these people die either. That was a good attempt, my man. That was a great attempt. Don't let him die, Jin Wu, please. In the in the blink of an eye, he's there. <laughs> Says his official title, come on. Double awakening, second awakening. They're just trying to piece the puzzle pieces together. He's gonna realize it's him. <laughs> Typical assassin, the dual wielding daggers. Oh, that's a crazy shot. <laughs> oh, hell no. I really like his assassin illusionness. The sand is a dirty play. Got him with some slashes. Oh, uh, once you're a significant threat to us, the system makes us defeat you. Oh, float like a butterfly. He's about to sting like a bee. And the drain paralysis. Oh my god, this episode's going insane. Damn, bro. Those assassin builds are so crazy in game. I'm loving these shots right now. Slash his ankle, ruin his balance. Do we have any full recoveries next? Left. Speak of the devil. Oh, 
Yep, him as a person, him as a whole has changed. I do love the way they animate his undetectable invisibility. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got goosebumps right now. Man, hit him with the Mongeko Mongekyo Sharingan. Yeah, how is this gonna work out with like the officials, you know? That's kind of a bar. We'll probably get as strong as those places are dark. As we see his shadow stretching into the forbidden darkness. That sounds like we're in made of made an abyss right now. Runestone stealth. Yeah, he does want to solo the boss now that the cast out of the bag, you know? You don't even get to see it. That's how easy it was for him. Now, he was the one who was with Kang when he visited Jinwoo in the hospital, so. That's insane, man. Uh, that was Mr. Song. He was actually disgusting. You should have seen it. Shout out Mr. Song. He is a real one. Juhi, you gotta go along with it too. Interesting. No, you helped us out insanely, buddy. I love Juhi and, and Mr. Song even more. Okay, they're officially cleared. Juhi's looking mighty beautiful. That's the one we gave her in that double dungeon. I'm still hoping we can take her out on that date. That episode was crazy. All right, so we're having some crazy developments. I First things first, I'm hoping Juhi and Jinwoo can go on that date she needs a little mental stability and an anchor in her life that she can rely on. Jin Woo needs some emotionalness to connect him back to this world. Because the stronger he gets, the more himself breaks and falls apart, like he says. I feel like he's losing his emotions slowly and slowly, kind of like Saitama. So I'm hoping uh, Juhi can keep him tethered to this moral ground we have. Mr. Song was the utmost MVP this episode. Obviously, Jin Woo was the GOAT. But for willing to take the kill for Kang, also willing to fight him when he did not know of our strength just immediately. The utmost respect. RIP to Mr. Kim and the other guy. Like, even though we've had our beef and issues with them, I, I respect Mr. Kim and wanting to apologize. And his I feel so bad for his daughter and his wife. You know, like that'd be the worst news to get, especially after she was like, oh no, I don't even, I don't even like thinking about that. But Meruem's voice actor for that guy was perfect. I love the assassin v assassin build and how he had different abilities versus um, Jin Woo. It is like invisibility ness, which we, when we beat him, we got a stealth rune. So I'm curious what all that means. We got five ability points. I love how he was like, hey, can you lower your bloodlust a little bit? Now the system's caught on. Now the system's telling me to kill you. So now I gotta kill you. So shit got wicked. Thoroughly enjoyed the animation. A1 is having an amazing adaptation. I need to read the manwas to where we're at so I know exactly what differences are made because I know there are definitely some differences, which I've been told that it isn't a adaptation of the manwa, whereas it's an adaptation of the light novel version. So there could be less differences than we're assuming because of that difference. I know light novels can be very, somewhat different than the than the comic picture after a you know counterpart. So curious about that. Jin Woo never ceases to amaze me. I, like I said, I love Juhi, love Mr. Sung. That episode was so condensed. It felt, felt so fast just being in that one dungeon. 
I don't know where it's going to end. I'm just trying to think pacing wise because we only have three more episodes. I'm curious what's going to happen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out the Patreon for the full uncuts. Come on over to the Twitch. Watch these live with me. It's a great vibe. I'm telling you. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them because you never know when Kang's going to come after them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.